Spartan Center 6 here, and I'm bringing you a complete walkthrough slash guide on how to do the Easter Egg and Mob of the Dead, which is the Pop Goes the Weasel achievement. The requirements for this are you need to have two to four players, you also need to have the Hell's Retriever, and, which is a Tomahawk, and you also need to be able to build and refill the plane. Those videos, if you don't know how to do them, are on the side, just in the annotations and in the description. You want to find these five skulls around the map. See that skull that pulled back on my tomahawk? They're always in the same spot, so you just throw your tomahawk where I'm throwing my tomahawks. There's five of them scattered around the map. You don't need to do them in a specific order. If you want to, you could go into purgatory and you could see them, and if you shock them, then the players uh, that aren't in purgatory could see them as well, just sitting there. But you don't need to do that. You could bypass that. Uh, this skull is on the sparking one, the sparking wire. That's where that skull is if you're... A little bit uncertain on where it is, but you have to throw a little bit higher because it's kind of hard to get it there. The When you do the last skull, you'll hear a laugh, and that's how you know you're done. And uh, it's like a mystery box laugh, like when you get the teddy bear or something. The next step to this Easter egg is to go into the warden's office and to go to his table, his desk, and a blundergat will just appear after you get all these skulls. And you have to pick up the blundergat. Now... After you pick up the blonde guy, he says whatever, and you then have to throw a tomahawk at that poster that I just threw it at, right there. And then you have to down yourself and go into this portal that opens up because you took down the poster that's right over here, which I'm showing you. And there's going to be a spoon right there. I know you can't see it there, but there will be a spoon right there, and you shoot it, and you zap it, and then you'll hear uh, someone speak, and then you'll know you've done it. The next step to this easter egg is to come into the cafeteria and throw a tomahawk at this spoon that's on the table. The spoon isn't going to come back to you. Well, it, it might look like come back to you with the tomahawk, but it'll still stay on the table. And then you're on to the next step. The next step is to enter the afterlife over here by the spiral staircase. And what I advise, advise for you guys to do is to have two afterlifes to do this. Like have two different people get ready to do this, get a crawler or something. Because you're, there's no way you're going to be able to do all these digits in one life. It's just, unless you're like a pro. These codes that are on the top left here, those are the codes you have to enter to do this part of the Easter egg. Uh, there's no specific order. You just put them in whatever order you want, and you just go with it. You'll know you're this. you could get to do this part if the switches are flickering. That means that you could do it. But if they're all at zero, then you mess something up along the way. Or you haven't ridden the plane uh, three times, because you have to do that for these things to flicker. Uh, then the step after this is, well, at first you have to go, yeah, actually, make sure you go get your body. You see how close I am to dying? That's really important. I was uh, doing solo to see if you could do the strike this way, but you can't. But you could do all these steps, so I figured I'll just show you. Then after you do that step, the screen will turn black and white, and you'll hear these audio tapes. If you want to hear all the audio tapes, you could click on the annotation, or go to the description, and I have a video on that. Now, I'm just showing you where all of them are. There's only one that spawn, one spawns at a time, so once you pick it up, you have to listen to it, and this is the order they spawn in. Once you pick it up, you listen to it, and you go on to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Now, this is uh, almost the last step. I'm just showing you where all of them are, just in case you get lost, because you have to pick these up to do the next step. So, after you do this one, there's one uh, coming up up the stairs to get to the roof, and you just grab it, and that's the last one. Now this step, you have to have one person down themselves, it will, you know, using this way, not like kill themselves, <laughs> and you have to go into purgatory mode. Make sure the fl plane is refueled for this part. Make sure you refuel the plane. Don't go on it, just refuel it, make sure it's refueled. And you're going to want this character to go up to the plane, and it's in purgatory mode and hold X. Now everybody else automatically goes into purgatory mode and they're automatically on top of the plane when that one person does this. So then uh, there's a cutscene. I'm just going to let you guys watch this. I cut out some of the battle f stuff because uh, it was really long and there were a bunch of zombies on the bridge and stuff. But yeah, it gets pretty hectic. And what happens is the weasel turns on you guys. So whoever's playing as the weasel has to kill everyone else, and whoever's not playing as the, weasel, as the weasel has to kill the weasel. Now you revive your player, your player's sitting in the electric chair, and this is uh, the vision of everyone else trying to kill the weasel. 
this is what happens and then I and then I show you uh, what happens when you're the weasel this is what happens when someone else goes on the plane in purgatory that you just drop you see what I mean you have no control over it and you can only go on the plane when you're in purgatory when you do all those Easter egg steps and then this is the view of the weasel the it's pretty bad for the weasel because you have to kill three people and it doesn't matter if the weasel kills uh, the other people or if you kill the weasel you still get the uh, achievement unlocked and you are done with the easter egg and you your life is over as it says so if you liked what you saw and it, and it helped you please leave a like and subscribe this took a very long time to do and I think that it's a very very good tutorial please if you have any questions please ask with the comments below Thank you, and I will see you later.